For Katrina Muscat Duff, days like this are bittersweet. She enjoys spending time outdoors working in her garden, but knows that between the heat and the pollen, an asthma flare could be just a breath away. Hot summer days like today with the humidity, um, a lot of times when there's the air quality alerts, I do feel, you know, my asthma kick in a little bit. Katrina makes sure to keep her rescue inhaler nearby just in case. But recently, she started trying something else. Katrina is part of a new national study to see if adding more soy to her diet can help her breathe easier. Americans in general do not take a whole lot of soy, but the groups of uh, folks who did seemed to have better lung function, and that made us think, well, maybe this is something that could improve their asthma as well. Dr. John Mastronardi is an asthma specialist at Ohio State University Medical Center who is helping conduct the study. He says in places like Asia, where soy consumption is higher, asthma complications tend to be lower. So hundreds of patients are being recruited in the U.S. to take soy supplements twice a day to see if it can help them. We have some very good drugs for asthma, um, and in a majority of patients, they work pretty well. The problem is when the first-line medicines don't really work, um, then we're much more limited. But if soy proves to be effective in helping to control symptoms, it could be a simple and inexpensive option for patients like Katrina. I already take vitamins on a daily basis, so I thought maybe adding another supplement to my um, you know, daily vitamin intake wouldn't be a big deal. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.